Hey guys, just wanted to uh, give you a quick demo of the new Google Maps that just recently came out on the Android App Marketplace. Um, this new version was announced last week by um, Andy Rubin, the head of Android department in uh, Google. And basically, um, they added a bunch of new features that I think will become useful for many people who are, who, who are big fans of Google Maps. Um, I've been playing around with some of the features already and I'm, I'm enjoying some of it. But um, let me just get right into it. The first big feature is the fact they've replaced their usage of tiles um, with vector units instead. So vector units are a lot more lightweight. Um, they should load, load up quicker when you're panning around the map. And um, you'll notice it does this blur technique when you're zooming from one place to another instead of um, the gray tiles that would pop up constantly in the old version and the current version of Google Maps for BlackBerry and, um, and iOS. So that's the first thing that I think really works well. You know, every once in a while you'll get a tile, but usually after you go over the tile, the tile's loaded up and you won't see it again. I'm going to go back to where I am on the map. You see how fast the tile's loaded now. Again, zoom around, you'll see it starts to fade in instead of constantly um, showing those gray tiles. So that was a big addition to it. Another cool feature is, let me zoom into my location here. Um, another big Another big feature is this compass mode they have. And um, this is actually activated by um, double tapping the My Location button. So if I double tap it, I'm in the mode now. You'll see it kind of shifted around. And what this does, it actually will keep the maps in the orientation that you're facing. So normally, I would be able to show you this if I was holding the phone and moving my body around. But since I can't, I'm going to move the phone. And notice how, as I move the phone, the map orientation stays the same as I'm moving around. So this is a, basically a better way to uh, to be able to navigate and keeping your position. Again, there it goes again. And um, I think that's actually a pretty cool feature. Um, you can back out of it either by pressing this top button up here or just pressing the button again and you zoom back out. So that's another big user facing feature that I think people will enjoy using. Here's another pretty cool feature as well. Um, they had the ability to basically, um, if you've ever used the, you know, Google Earth, you can now use two fingers to uh, pan the map flat or pan back up. And you can also use two fingers to almost turn the map if you see it's turning now. So this allows you to orient yourself wherever you may be just by using some gestures that work very easily and I think are very intuitive as well. Um, if you press again, you press this little button up here, everything goes back to normal. So um, I can actually show you this feature in the New York City area because uh, Google actually ha does have 3D maps for this area. So this actually shows off pretty nicely. Let me just zoom into a nice level. As you see, these 3D maps start popping in and um, you know it looks nice much like Google Earth, it looks nice, but you don't really get the scale. So what you would do in this, this case would just be to pan it down. Then you see I can now look at the buildings at a nice flatter view. And again, using the, the gesture to rotate, I'm able to also rotate around the building. There you go. Rotate around the building and see it from a different side. And I think that's just a pretty neat feature just to mess around with. Um, and there you go again. I can still do it like that. And again, you could also be in compass mode as you're doing it. Unfortunately, I'm already in this area, but um, you can do it wherever, whatever, whatever area you may be in. So um, those are the biggest features they added, um, along with some increased responsiveness as well as, um, again, the tile, the tile feature. So you'll see that blurs in instead of having to load the whole, whole gray background. But another pretty cool feature that they did add was um, they added the Google Labs section to, to Google Maps. Here you go. If I hit Labs up here, um, if you don't know what Labs is, Labs is actually a, a nice outlet that Google gave their employees to kind of create add-ons for different um, applications that don't make into the full feature, but allow consumers to reach them and use them if they like them. So I have a few Lab add-ons for Gmail. But they did add this function within the Google Maps app in Android and um, right now there's just two of them, and the one I do have active currently is called Measure. And basically with Measure, so if I go back to the map, 
basically with measure, I think this would be great use for people who maybe run and want to know the full distance that they're running. If I were to um, set up a start point, so let me actually, sorry, let me find my way back. Labs, measure, there we go. So if I tap, say, let me turn it on first. If I tap here, this is my starting point. I decided to run, you know, near the water over here. This actually pops up with the distance that that run would be, or how far it is. So that's 1.6 miles. So this is a great, great, easy tool to measure the distance, either from driving or running or things like that. So uh, that's again just a nice feature. And of course, the the normal features of Google Maps are there. You know, you have your voice navigation, Starbucks. Boom, they'll pop up the Starbucks. And um, that also does work from the home page if you're, you know, if you hold down the, the search button. Navigate to Starbucks. And boom, they'll navigate to Starbucks. And it'll open up the Google navigation, which didn't get, which is actually a separate app. So this didn't get the, the kind of nice upgrades. But uh, they did already have some of those features in this versus the Google Maps. So... Those are basically the new features that are added. Just wanted to do a quick rundown. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me or leave a comment in the video. Uh, thanks for watching.